Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. Today I would like to go over a window air conditioner, and more specifically, what's inside of it, what components are inside of it, what they are, what they're called, and what they do. So right here I have a standard window air conditioner unit. Um, let's start with the outside of it. You got the casing all around it. That actually comes off. I'll show you in a second how to do that. Most of them will have a frame around them as well. That's detachable and you can actually order a replacement one if you need it. Like if your accordion is ripped on the frame. See how that slides out? That's if you put it in the window and there's gaps in there, you could slide them out to block off the rest of the window. You got the accordion on either side. Then you got the front right here. This here controls the direction of the dampers or the louvers where the air will blow. On my unit, I also have a vent damper, and this will only be on units that have a fan setting. So if your unit has a fan setting where you can run the fan without the compressor, if your unit has that, you'll also usually have a damper like this. So most of the time, the only time you'll use this is at night. If it's cooler outside, you can just run the fan to pull in the air from outside because it's cooler outside. So that's what this little thing is for. You open and close the damper with it, and we can take a closer look after I take it apart. Um, then right here, we have the thermostat or the control. Um, it'll either be a dial style where you can turn or rotate a dial to control the temperature and to turn your AC on or off. In my case, I just have a digital thermostat control where I turn it on and off, adjust the temperatures, I can turn my fan speed on, and it has a timer. And all air conditioners will have a filter in front. Uh, most of them are gonna just pop out like this. Different styles will have different methods of opening the front to get to it. Mine just pops out right in front. And you can see how just filthy dirty my filter is right here. By the way, if this filter gets too dirty, like completely caked, your evaporator coil right here, this radiator looking thing, is gonna start to freeze over. And you're gonna see it turn white with all the frost. So I'll wash that later. I'm actually gonna film another video right after this one on how I clean the filter and how I wash down the coils. Uh, for anybody that's interested in how to clean this thing. So let's put that back. And let's proceed with taking the casing off of this air conditioner unit. So in my case, I just had to take apart the screws, which on this unit, there was two of them, two in front. So one on this side and one on the other. And then I had two screws in the back. I already took them out. Two screws, one here, and then one here. And then I can slide this whole thing out. So after you got the screws out, the next thing you want to do is take the front off. On mine, it just has a couple of plastic clips on either side that you just pull on and it comes off. So I got that side off, this side off. And there should be some clips up on top too. You don't want to pull too hard on it because those plastic clips can break off and then this doesn't stay on as well. So I got it off. Here's the little plastic clips that I was talking about. So if you pull on them too hard, they can break off and then this thing won't stay on completely. So pull it off slowly. Once you got that thing off, here's our front unit without the front or without the grates. And before we talk about all the parts, let's just go ahead and pull this out. To do that, I'm gonna flip it on its back like this. And actually it'll be easier if I put this on the floor. So let's put this on the floor. And some of these things are just monsters. They weigh a ton. Mine is pretty heavy, but I've seen way worse. And it should slide right out if you got all the screws out. So let's start with the big components. You saw this in the front and the back. The one in the front, this is gonna be the one that's inside of the house. This is called the evaporator, and the one in the back is called the condenser. So all this is, is a bunch of aluminum fins, just thin sheets of aluminum going up and down like that. And inside of there, there's copper pipes that loop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's where the refrigerant or the Freon is gonna flow in. So we got one of these things in the front and one in the back. And you can't really see it, but I have a blower wheel inside of here as well. If I reach in there and touch the blades, I can feel that they're not very dirty. 
On some window units, the blade is actually easy to see. You can see it right from the top. My casing will take some work to take apart, so I'm not gonna take it apart, but I'll add a picture. You got a blower wheel in there. And then the damper that I was talking about, it's just this little square looking thing right in the back. And here is our temperature control. You got the power cord that comes right into it. And out of the temperature control comes a temperature sensing bulb, which usually plugs into the bottom of the evaporator coil right here. And it's coming out kind of tough, so I won't take it out. But basically what this bulb is responsible for is measuring the temperature that's coming into the unit, or basically the temperature that's inside of your house. So all of these refrigerant pipes, the copper pipes, they go around here and into the compressor, which is this black cylinder piece right here. The compressor is the one responsible for pumping the Freon from the evaporator to the condenser coil, and it just goes in a loop, round and round and round and round. It's a continuous loop. So you got one pipe that goes into here on the bottom of the compressor, and then you got the discharge line that comes out the top. The compressor terminals, or basically where the wires go to on the compressor, are gonna be right on top. They're labeled, start, common, run. The wires are underneath here. If you wanted to access them, you would need to take this bolt off and this piece comes off and you can access those terminals if you have a meter to check the compressor with. The wire comes from the control box right over here. Inside of here, you have a transformer, which basically takes the 120 volts that comes from your power outlet and it turns it into either 24 or 12 volts that this little control can use. It has a handy little wiring diagram right on the side of it. If you know how to read wiring diagrams, this is very helpful. And there's also a dual run capacitor, the silver cylinder thing right here. And this is a part that fails quite often. It basically helps the compressor and the fan motor run. If I had to compare it to something, it would be like a car battery. So if the car battery is dead, the car won't turn on. Same with this little run capacitor. If this thing is dead, your compressor fan or both of them will not turn on. And if you want to know more about the capacitor, how to test it and how to replace it, I have a whole video dedicated on all of that where I go into detail on how to check a capacitor and how to replace a capacitor. And back to the compressor, as the unit is running, when the Freon is flowing inside of the copper pipes, as the Freon is going to the compressor, it first goes into this black cylinder right here before it comes into the compressor to get compressed. And this guy right here is called a filter dryer. If there's any kind of debris or moisture inside of that Freon loop, the purpose of this thing is to capture that so it does not get into the compressor as that could damage it. And on this side, you can see the fan motor, which is responsible for all the air circulation going on. You can see the condenser fan blade over here. And it also sucks air in from the inside. I just wanna explain that a little better. So as that fan is running, it's sucking air in through here, and by the means of the Freon or the refrigerant, it's cooling that air off, and it recirculates it and pushes it right back out through the top right here to give you cool air. So it's sucking air in from your house through here, and then pushing it right back out. And at the same time, outside, with the case on it, this is gonna be the side that's sticking outdoors. There's grates right here. It's sucking air in from the sides, and then pushing it out through the back. And in simple terms, what is happening is the refrigerant or the Freon, the whole purpose of that stuff, as it's circulating through the evaporator, it's absorbing the heat from the house. So as this thing is sucking air through this evaporator coil, the refrigerant absorbs heat that's in that air. And then through the copper pipes, it takes it to this condenser coil on the back. And you got air blowing through this thing as well. So it's taking that heat that it took from your house and it's blowing it out through the back outside. My unit has some rust and other dirt on the bottom here. I'll be washing all of that next and I'm gonna go ahead and film that as well. But there's one more thing I wanna point out and that's this channel right over here. So whenever your air conditioner is running, this evaporator coil actually condenses or sweats. So this coil that's in front, it starts to create moisture and that moisture drips down this evaporator coil and it falls down into this little tray. All the water flows down and it goes from the tray down this channel into here. 
And usually there's drip holes in the back, like this one for example, where the water is gonna drain out from the back outside. So it's normal to have a little bit of water on the bottom right here. And the reason I'm pointing that out is, if you look right over here in my channel, see all that gunk right there? Sometimes this little channel can get completely plugged up. And if that happens, then the water is gonna start to overflow and this part's actually inside of your house. So it'll start to drip inside of your house. So if you have a leaking window unit, then chances are that this thing might be plugged up. Well guys, and that is the inside of a window air conditioner. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new about these units. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the comment section and mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and up for a challenge, you are playing with white and it's your turn. Can you win this chess game in one move? I'll show you the answer in 30 seconds. If you need more time, just pause the video. Good luck with the checkmate.